Ghana suffers another huge loss. The country was hit by a blow over the weekend at the loss of renowned designer Kofi Ansa, age 56, at the Kolobu Teaching Hospital. Kofi's family has released a statement stating that cardiac arrest was the cause of Kofi's passing. Kofi has paved the way for Ghanaian designers, especially when it comes to international recognition. Kofi Ansa studied fashion design and graduated with honors at the Chelsea School of Art in London. And his fashion designs have been sold in London and in high-end stores such as Saks Fifth Avenue in New York City. Kofi Ansa's fashion resume is extremely impressive. From designing the looks at the Cannes 2008 African Cup of Nations to running the very successful art dress. Kofi Ansa's sudden death has not only rocked the fashion world, but Ghana as a whole. Our prayers go out to Kofi Ansa's family during this heartbreaking time. Let's lift the mood up a notch. It was a weekend filled with partying as the Ghana Music Awards were held at the conference center in Accra. And of course, ETV caught up with the best of the best to find out what they've been up to and what fans can expect next in their careers. Vanessa Jan of ETV Ghana's entertainment desk caught up with D Black, Joey B, who took home the award for Best New Artist, Kwabana Kwabana, and many others. What should fans look out for in the next few months from their favorite entertainers? Take a look. She said um, the feedback for personal person has been crazy. Uh, and I give the back. credit to my man here. Yeah, he produced the Thank song. You. I walked into the studio and I heard the beat and I, I couldn't sit still. The video drops in two weeks. We haven't set the date for the album yet. We're still in the studio working. Breezy and I are off to South Africa on Tuesday to shoot the next single, the video for the next single. So soon, soon enough, we'll set an album date. Straight from D Black, we got up close and personal with Joey B to discuss his nominations, Tonga, and more. I'm very happy that you know I've made it to the VGMAs and I'm, I had like six nominations. I'm, like, I'm more than grateful. You know, it's crazy. It's like my year. Last year I was here and I was like hoping to, to do more than what I did last year. And like, yeah, it's, it's come to pass. I'm working on my album. Um, it's, 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 it's called Greater Than. It's like 85% done. Um, I released a couple of singles. Like Tonga is my, my, my third single from my album. Um, I'll be releasing a couple of videos, you know, um, stuff that you guys haven't heard before. Then, turning heads, Jocelyn Duma arrived on the red carpet and dished on her latest project, Love or Something Like That, and kept us guessing on what she's currently up to. I have a few things that I'm working on at the moment I can't really talk about, I don't want to jinx it, but um, everybody should just watch out for something beautiful, something big, and um, you know, they should keep supporting and praying for me. Well, Effia gave us the breakdown of her outfit and what she has coming up next. Some more yeah, some pistol. Yeah, oh, Pistols is like a Ghanaian designer and Baker's Wood too is a Ghanaian designer. And I will start by House of Kramer. ETV then caught up with Kwabana Kwabana. The musician was excited about his nomination for Best Collaboration of the Year Award with Adult Music, which he later took home. But it was his look for the evening that definitely caught our eyes. It's hot, so I was thinking of something, something that can keep me comfortable and... Um actually give me some air. I wanted to still wear a blazer though, so I chose a short. <laughs> Stoneboy has some things in store for his fans. Next after the VGMAs is the video from Stoneboy featuring Javinci from Jamaica. You feel proud of the you leaving happiness, you know, right? Well, that's a huge song. It's been a few months since we caught up with model Rosalind Ashka, so of course, we wanted to know what she's been up to. Let me just say that, you know, I'm waiting to bounce, you know. Thankfully, we've got, you know, a signing with one of the huge agencies. And so, yes, so the time is near. We're waiting to, you know, get there and then get some jobs and hopefully, yeah. Topping the evening, taking home four awards, including Best Album of the Year, Ghana's fastest and most successful artist, Sako Dier, opened up about his look for the evening and what fans can expect from him. I want the fans to visit the shop. This is sock. Oh, this is sock. Oh. The sock shirt, the sock pants, nice. you know. So the stuff is there. I want everybody to just come in. And the people who are supporting already, God bless you. Surprises. I have a lot I have a lot coming your way. I'm actually traveling outside and I'm coming back with a surprise. So. And it's a surprise, so I can't really tell them. But a lot is going to happen. Although Shata Wale claimed he would not attend this year's Ghana Music Awards, he was spotted outside the conference center celebrating his wins. 
because the Shatsa movement is unstoppable. As he did take home numerous awards, the most prestigious artist of the year. Congratulations to all the winners. Everyone who took home an award was very deserving.